talks your daily dose of health and medical news i'm mr zaman and here's what i bring to you all from the world of medicine inflammatory bowel disease risk increased by environmental chemicals a new study by investigators from brigham and women's hospital leverages multiple research platforms to systematically identify environmental chemical agents that influence gastrointestinal inflammation their findings published in nature identify a common herbicide propizamide that may boost inflammation in the small and large intestine the researchers conducted their work by integrating ibd genetics databases with a large environmental protection agency database stocks cast which includes biochemical data on consumer industrial and agricultural products they identified chemicals predicted to modulate inflammatory pathways and then used a novel zebra fish ibd model to test these compounds and determine whether they improve worsen or did not affect gut inflammation next the researchers used a machine learning algorithm trained on the studied compounds to identify additional chemicals in the tox cast database likely to promote inflammation Depression risk increased with hours worked in stressful jobs, according to study. The more hours someone works each week in a stressful job, the more their risk of depression rises. A study in New Doctors finds working 90 or more hours a week was associated with changes in depression symptom scores three times larger than the change in depression symptoms among those working 40 to 45 hours a week. What's more, a higher percentage of those who worked a large number of hours had scores high enough to qualify for a diagnosis of moderate to severe depression, serious enough to warrant treatment compared with those working fewer hours. Two drugs inhibit pancreatic cancer progression. Pancreatic cancer's stealth-like nature has the attention of University of Florida scientists who have discovered a way to reverse a key cellular process involved in its progression. UF researchers identified two small molecules that inhibit precancerous cell progression. The molecules also reversed a process known as acinar ductal metaplasia or ADM which precedes pancreatic cancer. According to the National Cancer Institute, more than 60,000 Americans will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer this year. and only about 1 in 10 of those diagnosed will survive the next 5 years. ADM often occurs when inflammation is present. It's a defense mechanism to avoid having the pancreas make too many digestive enzymes and destroy itself. During ADM stable enzyme making acinar cells turn into protective ductal cells that line the pancreatic duct. If certain genes mutate during the transition, then the cells can become precancerous and eventually develop into cancer. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.